Hope you're doing good. Mike back with another video. Back here to talk about iOS 18.1 Beta 1. Apple actually dropped this months in advance. A little surprising. But I iOS 18.1 Beta 1 actually brings Apple intelligence and a form of the new Siri 2.0 to our iPhones. And yes, if we jump into settings, just to show you guys that <laughs> this is happening. If you come in here to updates, you'll see we're on 18.1. Now I think the trouble I'm gonna have is actually being able to still cover iOS 18.0 in that beta process since I only have one iPhone device. So we will see how that works there. But if we come into the about section and we go to iOS 8, uh, the version, this is P meaning we are so far off it doesn't even make sense i've never even seen the build numbers go that far back but yes we are on a p build number which means yes it's going to take some time and nonetheless let's get into it from here so what do we want to actually see right there splat down in the middle apple intelligence and siri and so by opening this uh, i actually have some splash screens to show you guys because this is not how it actually first starts off it's activated on my phone now but if we actually come into photos we will see just what the initial process looks like so let's say i want to swipe over this is the first official splash screen that you get to join the wait list and it gives you some previews as to what you got going on with the apple Intelli intelligence beta Upon swiping over again, once it's active or that you turn it on, you do this for Siri to continue. And then it's going to walk, kind of tell you the, the things of Siri's talking, like speaking to Siri, having continued conversations, which means it has conversational awareness. And then you can even type to Siri. Now, for me, I can't get this feature to actually work yet. So it just shows you that the level of beta that it's at right now, because if I want to show you guys that real quick, you're supposed to be able to tap down there twice. As you see, it highlights, but nothing happens. Even I try to press and hold. If I press on, you see it kind of rotates through colors, if anything, but the, the type to Siri is not actually working for me right now. But what is working for Siri is the new animation. Look at that right there. The new animation works. And if I want to, I can ask it some follow-up questions that should be able to continue a conversation without me mentioning the subject again. So let me demonstrate that here for you. So let's activate Siri. How old is LeBron James? LeBron James is 39 years old. Who does he play for? LeBron James plays for Los Angeles Lakers. Where is he from? LeBron James was born in Akron, Ohio. What number does he wear? Thank you. So as you guys can see, you get that new kind of animation for Siri up at the top. But also what you noticed was I only said LeBron James one time, but you saw about four follow up questions and each response was in relation to the subject that I only mentioned once, which was LeBron James. So there is a level of Siri 2.0-ness that is working here. But as you guys can see, type to Siri is not quite working for me right now. But the continued conversation aspect is, and I like that a lot. Now, the Apple intelligence side of things is also here. And you're going to notice this immediately within messaging and notes because of writing tools and the smart replies. Now, keep in mind, mail is supposed to also have Apple intelligence with categorization and whatnot. That's not here yet, but I can show you the messages aspect. So if I jump in a message with me, as you see, I sent me a message. I don't know why I put the comma instead of a question mark. And you see, I'm doing this with RCS. So it's not just with, you know, mess iMessage to iMessage, but it's with messages in general. And as you see, it glows with a smart reply. And then you can also share your feedback. And if I hit I'm well, thanks, it's going to send to my phone and then it's straight. But let's say I wanted to do some more. Right. So we saw smart replies with Apple intelligence. Let's see. So if I actually back out and I come, I think it was over here. No, it wasn't over here. It was in my basketball chat. See, I already have it typed right there. Right. I'm on way there. I typed it wrong on purpose to demonstrate to you guys something new. And so if I hit this arrow over here, you see writing tools. Writing tools is new. Writing tools gives you the ability to do new things with your text, with your formatting of text 
your messages, your notes, so that way you can have them formed in a way that you want, so that way you get the best results that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm gonna use proofread. If I use proofread, you're gonna see that it's going to now throw a word in there. I'm on my way there. So I had to fix one change, which was adding my. And then if I hit done, we're good. But let's say I wanna go further. Let's highlight everything. Let's come back in here to writing tools. And now you can actually rewrite it. So if I hit rewrite, it's going to actually rewrite the entire thing. I'm on my way to that place. You see that? That is nice. So if I hit done, I want to keep that. But let's say I want to go further and come in here to writing tools. Now I can actually change the, the style, the, 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 the grammar effect of what I'm trying to speak. So I can make it friendly, professional, or concise. Now it's already concise, but... All right. So as you see, it shrinks it to I'm heading there. Right. But let's say, oh, well, I clicked out of it. But let's say I try to highlight everything again. And then I go ahead and select writing tools. And as you guys can see, I can change it to be professional. But since I'm with my friends in this one, I'm going to do friendly. So if I do friendly. I'm off to that place. <laughs> which is interesting, right? But that is what we're able to do now with writing tools. Now, to kind of demonstrate the other aspects, so let's say I want to come in here to uh, I have some notes somewhere. Oh, uh, here we go. So I have notes that I did to cover some of my, my coverage, if you will, from the Galaxy Watch Ultra. So if I come in here, click over to writing tools, this is where I would actually want to use these further down ones, such as summary, key points, list, or table. And I think list makes more sense for this. So now what it's going to do is actually reformat everything into a list for me. And I like that list. So I'm going to hit done. And now everything has bullet points and is much better to understand for me to actually read off and or cover when I make or when I actually well, I already made this video, but you get the point. So as you guys can see, Apple intelligence is functional for the most part in ways that we text, write, respond to people, and even in the form of Siri, something very, very good to see take place here. Now, I have not noticed anything in terms of notifications yet because you're supposed to be able to get priority notifications, which is Apple intelligence kind of reformatting the way we receive notifications. I have not seen that active quite yet, but that is supposed to be coming with Apple intelligence as well. Now, if I come into Safari, we might be able to see the, that highlights might work a little bit better. So unfortunately, I couldn't really find too much to actually showcase that. So that's something that's probably still being worked on in the background in terms of proper summarization of articles through Safari, but just know that it is coming and I can't wait to actually use that feature with Safari because I definitely enjoy that feature on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus with Samsung's internet browser being able to summarize articles. I'm hoping to be able to continue that over here in Apple's world. Another feature that Apple Intelligence includes is call recording and, we will, and you will have the option to actually take notes within Apple Notes. So if I come in here and I actually try to start a phone call, let's go ahead and see if I can at least start this one. You will see up at the top here, this button right here. And I think they may have to actually start responding. So we'll see if they pick up. And if they pick up, I will be able to show you this feature here. So let's see, okay, so you see how I lit up? So now you have call recording. Use a phone app to record a call, then save to the notes app. While an audio notification will automatically play before recording begins, please respect the preference of the person you're calling. So probably a good idea to let them know you're going to end up recording a phone call. Now, as you see here, this call will be recorded and you can actually take notes while you're in the notes app. So instead of being here and on the call, you can come in here and as it's recording, it's going to record here. And while the call is going on, whatever you're talking about, you can take notes along with it. You know what I'm saying? And then... Of course, with the added ability from Apple Intelligence to reformat your writing, what you can do is, once you're finished, turn them into a list. And once it does that, boom. Now you have proper notes taken from a call that you recorded for your benefit. So I think that's actually pretty, pretty nice to be able to see here. And if you don't want to record them anymore, just hit stop. It's done recording. It will now save in that notes app. And then all you got to do is 
it, it brings me right back in here and then you can play it back and it will play the note and if you guys can't hear as you guys could probably hear that a little bit you hear that so let me turn that down and i believe you can actually get the transcript of the phone call right there as well um yep you can get the, the transcript of the phone call as well so what a neat new feature from apple to have in here and it even calls a call with so-and-so so, -and -so. so Again, what a benefit of Apple intelligence with our iPhones. Now, some of these features will be exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro and above because of the neural processing engine within the actual chip running your device. So if you have an A17 Pro or better, you will have these, uh, these Apple intelligence features. But if you have the basically the A16 and lower, such as the iPhone 15, and 15 plus and lower you will not be able to benefit from a lot of these apple intelligence features due to the lack of ability or inefficient neural processing on the chip within your phone so keep that in mind as well but just know that these features are coming and the last thing to talk about is within privacy and security and if we come in here after we find it and you scroll down, you will see Apple Intelligence has an ability, and it's going to actually ask for your face ID to get in. And once you're in, come on, as you see, you have a report duration. This report may include personal data, such as messages and text you enter in intelligent writing tools. So you can do a report duration of 15 minutes, seven days, or off all together and then you can export that activity for your convenience so we're starting to really see what apple intelligence is going to kind of look like over time for our iphones another thing that they changed is within messages so if i come back up here to me you guys will notice that upon coming into the message and i click emojis they've been spaced back out again and they've re-included the stickers and memojis in the keyboard including being able to be in line as a text message so it actually shows up in the size of an emoji as you guys can see and then what i can do is type hello and as you see it formats it and it will send as a regular text message now it didn't send to that number because uh, rcs probably purposes but if i actually sent it to an ios number it, sh it should actually work so Oh, actually, it froze. So let me go ahead and swipe out. So we see this is the beta. <laughs> so let me go ahead and back out of here. Oh, it actually froze iMessage altogether. Okay, there we go. So maybe if I come into the chat with the wife and then I go, hey, and then I click on this and then I add that, it should send with no problems. So I don't know if it is just because because I thought I actually sent it before to an RCS or a green bubble chat. But we definitely see as you see, it sends as a normal text message there. So that's also very nice to see that they brought this back, which means this is a feature that's supposed to be included with iOS 18 in some shape or form. Maybe it comes in the original iOS 18.0 or maybe with iOS 18.1, the emoji stickers, emoji emojis actually arrive with iOS 18.1. That is the topic of discussion. Hope you guys appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section below. Are you guys going to update the 18.1 beta one? Are you going to stay on iOS 18? Or are you not even trying to do the beta yet? You're just going to patiently wait for the stable release. The comment section is open for discussion. Again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free. That's the video. So you and I can sit back check see who's cracking. And don't forget to hit that super thanks button down there, but I like and dislike button. Cash app and PayPal. And check the channel out for all the videos available to you. That's the way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel. Jermaine Micah signing out until the next video. Wait for it.